This is big and it's going to make selling online way easier to many merchants. Now you can create your Shopify store just by writing one prompt. Shopify partnered with Lovable, an online platform that allows you to create websites just by writing prompts. No need to code, no need to drag and drop. So I had to test this new feature and it was actually mind blowing. And I've created and customized a full online store using Lovable just by writing prompts, nothing else. Lovable is super easy to use and literally anyone anyone can use it to create an amazing online store. And I'm not talking only about basic features, you can go as wild as you want. You are not coding, you're just prompting. Before I jump to my screen to show you how this works, it's very important to mention something. Lovable is going to create your online store, so your front end, but Shopify will always handle the back end. Everything related to what your customers see or experience on your store is going to be handled on Lovable. But everything related to the back end, shipping, taxes, order will remain on Shopify as before. I will show you more how this is gonna look like at the end of this video. But now let's move to my screen and let's see how you can create your store in seconds using AI. So this is Lovable and this is the tool that we are going to use and link to Shopify. But before we start, I want to mention that this tool is not for free. You need to sign up to one of their paid plans in order to be able to fully create and customize your website and publish it. In here you will find their pricing list and I have signed up to the cheapest plan. It's for $25 per month. It gives me 105 credits per month and I still have like 86 credits although I've built a full store. So I think this plan would be more than enough for most of you. Now let's start with the magic. The only thing that you need to do is to come in here and to write your prompt. So in my case, I want to create an online store to sell my skincare products. I can give AI more information, but for now I'm going to stick with this simple prompt and I will click enter. Lovable will start now creating your store. And after that, it will ask you to activate the Shopify integration. This is something you must do. So as you can see, it gave me all of this information. You can read it if you wish. And in here, I must allow the Shopify integration. Once I do that, Lovable will start actually creating the store. I had to wait a few minutes until I got these results. Now I need to provide more information about my brand to Lovable. And as you can see, it started creating the basics layout of my homepage. So I have the banner with the buttons, I have the menu, and in here I should be listing my products. On the left in here, you will see the things Lovable is asking you to provide. So add products and start customizing the features. I'm going to add my products first to see how they are going to be reflected on the store. So in here, so in here I will add my products with their prices and a photo for each product. I will type in here my products titles with the prices and attach the images. Lovable now will be creating the products and adding them to the store. And once you connect your Lovable store with your Shopify store, you will see the products listed there with all the information, the description, the title, the prices, everything. Like normal, totally legit Shopify products. In a few seconds, Lovable returned the four products. And as you can see in here, they are all listed with the titles, the prices, and a button to buy them. By the way, if while using Lovable, you didn't see the updates reflecting in here, refresh the page and they will be live. So as you can see, now I have my four products live. But let's see, instead of having them listed this way, I want to list the four products in one row on desktop. I'm going to ask Lovable to do that. So this is the first thing I will ask to do. Second, I will ask it to make the images within the cards adapt to the original product images because now they are cropping my product images. So as you can see, Lovable finished the work it fixed the images, but I don't have four products per row. So let's try to ask it again to do it because maybe I've given two instructions in the same prompt, so it got lost. So I will add list four products in one row on desktop one more time. And let's see how it goes. And that's it, it was fixed. So this is a lesson to learn. Don't give two instructions at the same time. I'm not gonna continue creating the website in here with Lovable, but now you have an idea about how it works. I will just tell you something that in case you want to change something in the product page, just go to the product page and prompt in here. 
I will go to the project that I have already worked on and show you all the customization that I have done and all the things that I was able to do just by prompting. So this is my product page and as you can see I have text in here, I have an image and I have my products listed. I also create a logo list and just by asking Lovable to do it. So I asked Lovable to create a logo list and I gave it the logos and I also asked it to create an about us a section in here and our promise section in here. I didn't even give it these uh, icons. I'm pretty sure I can modify them. Ask Lovable to modify them if I want. I also worked on the product page. So now when you go to the product page, you will see that I have the product and I have all the information in here. I won't actually to show you how I've done this because it is amazing. If you scroll down in here, you will see all the instructions that I have given to Lovable. And as you can see in here, I said for each product on the product page, I want to have the following as tabs below the add to cart button, ingredients, how to use benefits. And I gave it the informations for the four products. And guess what? By default, it put everything in the right place. So if you go to another product, you will see different information. So it was able to not only create the layout on the product page, but also to make the content dynamic from one product to another. I've done the same for this section in here. I've asked it to create a, an image with benefits uh, section and I gave, it the, I gave it the images and the benefits for each product, as you can see in here, and it created this section for me. It's amazing. It took, it took minutes maybe. That's it. I had the layout in here up and running. For sure, I can work more on it and customize it more. I just wanted to show you how far this can go. So the basic product page would have looked something like this. I went ahead and added stuff to it. So manage the tabs, added logos, added a section in here and so on. I'm pretty sure you can do add more things like quizzes, more sections, FAQs, whatever you want. And I also created an about us page by asking it to create an about us page. If you scroll down in here, you will see that I've asked it to design the about us page. This is the written content and these are the images to use. And I gave it like full freedom to create the image. And this was the result. It was actually amazing. I could for sure modify things if I want, give it more instructions. But to me, this is more than enough to start out. Now, once you finish customizing all of this, your next step is to link the store to Shopify. In order to do that, you just need to claim your Shopify store. So you click on claim and it will directly make you sign in within Shopify and the two stores will be integrated and that's it. Now let's go to Shopify backend to see how things look like in that. So I've linked this lovable design with my Shopify store. Now let's go to Shopify to see how things look like on the Shopify end. And by the way, before moving to Shopify, you must first publish this design. Once you do that, let's go to Shopify and see how the products were added and how things look like in here. So if we go now to products, you will see that I have the four products listed. So as you can see, I have a title, I have a description. I didn't even write this description. I have even like tags, the prices, and I can go and change everything actually. I can modify the information, add to them and so on. And this, this is the same with all the other products. So whenever you go to any other products, you will see like the information are there and I can modify them and add to them if I want. Everything else within Shopify, everything related to the backend management will remain the same. So your orders, your taxes, your shipping rates, your payments, everything will be in here. The only difference now is that your store front end is being managed within Lovable, not in here within your online store and within the theme that you are using, like we usually did. So this is your online store. And if you click on customize, you will be directed to the editor, but you can basically do anything because anything related to the appearance of the store is again handled within in here within Lovable. One more thing, when you do this connection, you will see the Lovable app in here. And by the way, also the checkout, it's still handled by Shopify. So everything is still 100% secured and 100% Shopify proof. So this is the live store. If I go now to this product, and I add it to cart. This is my cart. I will click on, I will click on checkout with Shopify. And this is going to be my checkout page. This is the normal Shopify checkout page. 
And by the way, by designing your store, you can always see the different previews. So you can click in here and see the tablet preview and click again and see the mobile preview. And by default, the theme is, and by default, Lovable is creating a website that's mobile friendly. You can modify things in, on mobile as well. Let's say instead of having one product per row on mobile, I want to have two products per row. Let's prompt this and see if Lovable is going to actually give us what we want. On mobile, I want to show two products per row. And as you can see, I have now my new layout with two products per row. I can go as detailed as I want and modify stuff in here just by telling Lovable what I want to do. This is really amazing. I think this is one of the best things that I have seen happening in e-commerce in a very long time. This is one of the first times that I see an AI tool that actually get the job delivered in a very easy way and without tens and thousands of bugs. This is amazing. Lovable is amazing and integrating it with Shopify will make the life of so many merchants around the world way, way easier. I'm sure over time we will have more useful cases of this integration, but for now, it's already amazing.